first thing we're going to do is log in. It really depends on which website you have. The design of it and placement of the login button will be in different locations. For this one, our login is at the top. Once you click on categories in the account menu and you'll notice it says manage post categories. And you can create a new one right here at the top. So if we go there and create a brand new one. I'll just make one called A A A A A A A. And that's the only thing really required. And you see these say optional. And we'll just keep everything as is. Um, you can choose user types that this category only shows up in. So on this site, we have other user types like writers, users, moderators, and different ones, administrators. So if you wanted writers to only see this category, then that's how you would do that. You would choose writer, but by default, there is no limit and everyone who can post will be able to post in any of those categories. And then your optional settings are visible in categories menu. Uh, if your site has a categories menu displayed, which on the right hand side on this website, you'll see this menu right here, categories. This is the menu that is displayed. So if you go back up, if you uncheck that and create this one, it will not be displayed on that list on the side. Show title on the category page. That's self-explanatory. This, the title, which we labeled AAA, will not be displayed on the page. Uh, this is useful if you want to hide the title and description. You can also choose not to show the post within that category for any reason you might have. And we'll click on create category. Now it'll say category created successfully and you can view it and it'll open in a new tab. And as you'll see, there's AAA. You'll notice that um, this is only for administrator, by the way. Uh, you'll have a little pencil right beside the title. That's just a quick link to get you straight to editing that category. Go back to categories and you'll see here's the new category created. On this page, the first item you see on the right hand side of your category is the number times that page has been viewed. The next thing in line is if this category is visible, you can click it to hide in the categories menu. That is the same thing as that check mark on the edit page of the category. This next one, two little people icon, that means it's visible to everyone. If you click on that and then come back to the page, you'll see it's just a single person with a red shirt on. That means only visible to logged in users of the website. It's kind of like an incentive to sign up to a website and only show those categories to members of the site. The next one is add a chat category and you'll see a pop-up that says level LVL2, which is level two. You can have it at five levels on this content management system. You'll see some of these go really far, really deep. And what we did was give it a little bit of shade of gray underneath each one and it gets darker as you get to the fifth one. You'll notice that if you have a fifth subcategory, you'll get this little yield sign right here with exclamation mark on it. And that means uh, you can't go any further in the category hierarchy. Hey, let's go back to the top. This is if you want to edit it and if you want to delete it. We are going to delete that and you'll get this pop up. It says, are you sure you want to delete this? It'll also delete all child categories within it. So be sure that you know, don't mess up by accidentally deleting it. It does not delete any of the posts within those categories. 